So the Supreme Court has weakened federal regulators. So this case was brought by herring fishermen, which usually I'm all for. Listen, <laughs> I did. I want to see the boardroom where the herring fishermen got together. And Not said, Harry. I said herring. Oh, Harry fisherman. Harry fisherman. The Harry fishermen got together. <laughs> herring, like the little, you know, that's really good marinated. Okay. Uh, yes, I'm aware. Okay. Um, She's Swedish. She's all about herring. You know, herring is actually a big thing in Jewish cuisine, too, so. It's true. It's, well, it's more white fish. This is, it's known colloquially, the 1984 decision is uh, known as the Chevron case. And what this was, was back in 1984, it was a Reagan administration effort to ease the regulation of power plants and factories. Uh, four years ago, the Supreme Court actually ruled six to zero, with three justices recusing, that judges should play a limited deferential role when evaluating the actions of agency experts in a case brought by environmental groups to challenge this uh, Reagan administration effort. The Justice Paul Stevens wrote in 1984, the judges are not experts in the field and are not part of either political branch of government, so we shouldn't tell the Reagan administration to start regulating these power plants and factories because that we wouldn't know any better. Interesting that now you do know enough to vote to say that, oh, the government shouldn't regulate. Okay, so are you or are you not experts? Because it seemed like yeah. you weren't experts. This is kind of what the Republicans do. Like, well, I'm no expert on science, so I can't talk about climate change. Well, the, the experts have talked a lot about it. But, but I am expert enough to say there's no climate change. Right. I, I, I don't know. Like, I was, uh, okay, this was brought by, again herring fishermen in New Jersey and Rhode Island who challenged a fee requirement who basically that herring fishermen pay for the government mandated government mandated observers who track their fish intake to you know stop overfishing and things like that the interesting thing here is that so they were saying that, oh, well, these fines could go or these fees could go up to 700 a day, but no one's ever paid it. No one's ever paid Apparently. it? Apparently. <laughs> According to this uh, MSNBC article, it was just the idea. Just the idea of a fee really annoys me. Basically, the fishermen argued that Congress never gave federal regulators authority to require the fishermen to pay for monitors. The Supreme Court has said that federal regulations don't have standing when it comes to trying to stop things like overfishing. So is there anything that the federal government is allowed to regulate or <laughs> no? Th this group called Earth Justice said after the ruling, the Supreme Court is pushing the nation into uncharted waters. I don't know if that was attempted as a pun, but uh, probably as it was seizes power He's from our elected branches of government to advance its deregulatory agenda. They are aggressively reshaping the foundations of our government so that the president and Congress have less power to protect the public and corporations have more power to challenge regulations in search of profits. This ruling threatens the legitimacy of hundreds of regulations that keep us safe, protect our homes and environment, and create a level playing field for businesses, which we don't have. But anyway, to answer your question, all regulations are at stake. What is What I find really ironic here is that conservative interests who want limited regulation of water pollution backed the fishermen in their case. So these fishermen are either really, really dumb or they're really corrupt. Could be both. I guess, because you have people backing you who want to dump like toxic sludge into the waters where you supposedly right. make your living. Right. Now, I just wanted to add this little addendum. Here's the thing. I actually don't think that judges should decide on this. So with that initial 1984 decision where they said, hey, you know what? We're not the experts. I actually agree. You're not. The Supreme Court is a total undemocratic piece of shit institution that is there to block any kind of reform or progress vis-a-vis -vis wresting control from the corporatocracy that is the United States. So I agree. It would be great if SCOTUS could get the hell out of our lives because they're not experts on mm, anything except for corrupt law and business interests. So that I actually agree with. And how to wear a sexy robe. Right. That... I agree with, but unfortunately, this basically like how they've spun this is that now the experts who do try to put in regulation will be overturned, overruled by the Supreme Court because now apparently all of a sudden they are experts because corporations said so.